Hi, I'm Blair Gilbert from MrHardware.com and Gilbert's Pro Hardware in St. Clair Shores. Here just talking a little bit about furnace safety and how to check error codes on the lights on your furnace. Our furnace was acting up and what was happening was it would fire it would start to get warm, it would shut down, and so there's a little window in here and you can look through, it's very difficult, and you can see some lights, and they're going to tell you there's some lights in your furnace, they give you a little code, and that's telling you to work on the furnace, although I will tell you that if you're able to turn a screwdriver, you can probably change a flame sensor, which is really quite easy and quite safe. How they flash, see these four light lights here, so when these lights come on, the furnace door has got blinking codes and it tells you the last one if it's the flame sensor goes bad on the furnace. So it's kind of handy that if you, if you can see the lights and see how they're flashing, you still have your manual, those codes are all in the manual. So I'm going to hit the safety the door switch. So the first light is power, the second light is status, that is going to be what flashes and gives you your error codes and the last light is the flame sensor so right now the furnace is powering up and you hear a blower that's the induction mower and it's blowing and that's the pressure switches we changed a couple pressure switches in here that we're going to patch in what will happen is as soon as the furnace fires there goes the flame that last light says flame that was the flame sensor and we did a video on that that the flame sensor can get carboned up and quit sensing the flame and cause the furnace to error out well if you can read those lights they'll tell you what's wrong with the furnace and that'll give you a clue of how you can repair it yourself or that you need to call in a technician and sometimes a little bit of knowledge may go a long ways it's got blinking codes and it tells you that if it blinks twice it has a um, pressure circuit is open go to Y. Well you aren't going to go to Y, you're not going to repair your furnace but you can see the error code and it'll tell you what it is. These are the low fire switches they're diaphragm switches, micro switches that hook to the furnace they sense when the furnace induction motor is running and they make sure that the furnace doesn't run unless the furnace induction motor is blowing air through the combustion chamber. You have a low fire that's a 0.70 and a high fire it's 1.3. These are common things that can go wrong with the furnace. So you need an error code in your furnace and if it shows that a switch is stuck open or malfunctioning and you can read the error code in your furnace you'll now have a clue what has to be done. They're not hard to change but they really should be done by a qualified furnace technician such as Bob from Autumn Heating. It lets the furnace know that uh, your intake and exhaust vents are they're open. You can help pre-diagnose the furnace so that when your furnace, when you do call the furnace man, you may be able to tell him the codes, he'll know what to bring. So you might be able to save a technician extra trips, maybe save yourself some money in the long run. There it is, some quick tips. Keep an eye on your furnace from MrHardware.com.